What's going on, man? It's your boy, Race Car Shower, two tone four. You know what I'm talking about? George Boy, Texas Tag, and me and you kicking it with Instagram right now. Fuck with me. It's a rap TV, man. From the DFW Metro. Y'all know who it is. Stand the fuck up right now, man. Hey guys, it's Queen V and it's a rap TV. And today we have race car shoddy. Oh my god, he's gotta tell us about this name. Where did you get your name from? <laughs> uh I was named by a Def Jam artist by the name of Lil Rue. Um and he he put me down on that and I ran with it ever since. You didn't ask any questions, you just took the name. I felt it when he said it. You like race cars? That, that, I, <laughs> I love race cars. Oh, I knew it. That's all I do. Okay, so how long have you been doing music? Say that one more time. Sorry. How long have you been doing music? Uh, since 11 years old. Okay. Uh, and what inspires you? Uh, my whole family do music. My father's a producer, my brother's a producer. It's, it's, it's just in the family. So at 11 years old, is that like when you started writing? Or is that like when you just knew, like, I have this gift for music? When I actually freestyled my first time, I was 11. <laughs> and from right there, everybody was like, boy, oh, you're going to be bad. So Freestyle like off the dome at 11 years old? Off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. You're dope. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of projects do you have out right now? Um, I just dropped uh, Trap on Wheels as an album. Um, I got a single coming. Not, uh, maybe two weeks from now, and man, it's all going up. Yes, yeah, you write your own music. I write all my music. Is everything true? Everything is true. Mm -hmm. That's what they from say. From the bone to the ghost, so it's for real. Okay, so how do you handle stress and maintain a work life balance? Um, I think that people got to understand that you are more important than everything around you. Even though you take care of everybody around you, mm -hmm. you are the most important. So if you uh, if you kill yourself stressing, then you can never come back from that. I, I love my body, I love my soul, so I'm gonna protect my peace at all times. So what does your motivation come from? <clears throat> Living was number one, but my kids is definitely my motivation. Understood. Always, we all gotta eat. So do they like your music? My, I don't let my kids listen to my music. <laughs> you don't? No, not really. Wow. Uh, they're more focused on education. Understood, so what you spit about they can't listen to? I'm not saying they cannot, but I don't want their mindset there because that's my struggle. I don't want them like to, that, that, that to blend and be their struggle. So what if they, like, they're a fan of yours and they're like, I want to be just like my dad. I want to listen and rap just like him. How do you feel about it? I think that's a, a super amazing thing because I'm a hard working person, but I'd rather hand them the best craft and that's education and knowledge, you know, first. Mm -hmm. Understood. Who's the most influential person that's in your life right now? Man, my kids, man. I, I just gotta be honest, my kids are the most. And your kids do it all. Now, what, no, no, I have a question. So, what if the kids, you know, you do everything as a parent, you raise them correctly, but your kids go, we're not wishing this, but the kids go completely left. What is your motivation then? You know what? Uh, I feel like they're always my priority, whether they go left or right. Yeah. But I, I always have to steer. You got what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm driving the boat. For sure. I'm saying? So, I, regardless how old they get, I'm, I'm always gonna be their father. For sure. For sure. Alright, we're gonna jump right back into the music real quick. So do you charge to perform? At the moment I do not. I just started showing face three months ago. Okay. Um work has always been my number one. For sure. Uh and I got a phone call from my sisters and I, I told them, you know, uh I'm tired of doing what I do do as a career. Hmm. Um and they told me straight up, bro, you you're supposed to be a rapper. Hmm. So I jumped right back into it three months ago. Do you think you've been running from the gift that you have? I have. Why? Uh, once you uh, Music is a journey. Mm -hmm. You don't get paid for music right off the bat. Okay. Well, them bills got to be paid, you know, and kids got to eat. So, you know what I'm talking about? I, I have to put that on the back burner so I can take care of my priorities. Understood. For sure. So since money is like a priority, taking care of your kids is a priority, when do you feel like you're going to be able to, you know, go out and start charging people because you know that you're worth it? Oh, well, right now, you know, within the three months that we've been doing this thing uh, independently, it is coming very much soon. Okay. Right now, we are, we're hitting lick for lick. We have not mm -hmm. took a loss, and we don't plan on losing. And soon, those phone calls will start coming for sure. For sure. Can you pack a crowd? I'm the motherfucker, yeah, for yeah. sure, yeah. Now, I'm not talking about, like, three people. Some people think a crowd is three people. I'm talking about a crowd with a capital C. I mean, I've, when you can knock coast to coast out on your first show, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? When you can uh, knock spitting fire out and lose your voice and still get mm. number one, I'm pretty oh, sure you man. can take over a whole crowd. That's what I do. Yeah. So do you like practice in the mirror and stuff before you actually go perform? I go. I run around the whole fucking house. I be in the parking lot. Huh. I, you practice always makes perfect. And anybody who don't practice their craft, hmm. 
Um, so when you go to the studio, do you have everything memorized or like you in a booth like trying to run that back, run I, that back? I feel like you should never waste time in the studio. Oh, I like this. Your shit should always be built before you get there. Mm -hmm. And I'm always built when I get there. Okay, you might be made for this. You I, I feel like it. it. I feel like uh -huh. it for sure. Yeah. So what about on the days, you know, you go in there and you're performing, you've been ready for this moment and something happens. Like, you know, the DJ messes up, the speakers go out. You're going to start my stop. shit over and do it again. There you go. I ain't walking off stage unless my shit right. The microphones don't work. We ain't doing no music uh -huh. that's real shit how do you take criticism some people come and say your music is trash you need to focus on a b c and d how are you coming i tell them you got your own opinion thank you i just won't have a nice day now what if they really in a position to take you somewhere if they're in a position to take me somewhere after they say that uh -huh. then i mean i feel like everybody should always take good advice mm -hmm. or take advice whether it's good or bad there you go you got what i'm saying so right. I'm, I'm willing I, I love bad criticism it just make me go hard uh -huh. where do you see yourself in five years I'm already working on two businesses. I feel like I'm going to be at the top of the mountain in five years. Okay. What's the top of the mountain? You just want to sit up there or you want to do something like that now? I want to be able to elevate everybody else and bring them with me. All right. You yeah. want to lead by example? I like I, it. You got to. Got you got to still. Huh. You still. Got to. Got to. Yeah. Okay. So um, can you describe a future world um, you'd like to see and the steps you take to get there? My future world uh -huh. and the steps I take to get there. Uh -huh. Um. Like I said, right now music is number one popping. There's the the generation is gonna change so much. Um, even though I'm trying to lead in my footsteps, I have to follow in those footsteps to make sure I stay current. Um, with me, my name Ray Scott Shawty isn't just a name; it's a brand. Uh, my record label Pure is a brand. I feel like I'm just gonna consolidate everything into one, and and make make sure I represent. I'm just do good showmanship. You have to you have to feed that to everybody. That way, everybody can have something. You can't always be that nigga that win and try to stand on top. That's how you fall. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So you bring the ones, they ones with you. So mm -hmm. I, I, I just want to bless everybody. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So you say you have a label. So you manage artists? Yeah, I, I have uh, one artist. So you feel like you're like maybe putting too much into the artist. You're not putting enough into yourself. Like you think you're ready for that right now? I, feel like, I feel like if I recruited you, you're just as capable as me. Uh -huh. So somebody can eat. Somebody can lead the way. Either yeah, way. my energy always high. So I got to let my energy roll down into my artist. Uh -huh. And he and he's stepping right now just. So about when your energy is low, energy's not always high. Unless you're out there with them trees all the time, they say it for you. You ever heard of Ty Tribbett before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know about Ty Tribbett? No. Oh, a oh, Christian artist. He say if if you're sad and you're down and you've messed up, it's only for one night. Mm -hmm. The next day your day will start. So mm -hmm. don't always have don't have a bad life, don't have a bad month, don't have a bad week. Have a bad day mm -hmm. and fix that shit the next day. Oh, I'm always looking for the best day. For sure. Yeah. How do you market yourself? I'm extremely on social media crazy. I mean, like, for, for me, just starting Bad Rapid three months ago and having a record label, I have um, marketing and promotion. I got people in every direction already. I'm already running my staff like a, a major record label. Okay. So is it only just social media? Uh, I you mean, don't go out and like do door to door, like really get into you know people's faces and let them. Nobody understand. door to door now. Nobody door to door, but we we out there though. We out there in the streets. We out there for sure. We at every show. I don't regard. I don't go. care. For, I don't care whether it's whether it's free, whether it's huh. if we giving away something to somebody. I don't need nothing from it. I just need to be able to do my thing so they can see me. That's so you got some merch when you go out, make some money. We're working on merch right now. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. all right. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about any kind of upcoming music you got going on. Uh, I'm about to get ready to drop a single in two weeks from now. That's gonna be lit as fuck. I'm about to drop a uh, Jack of a Beast mixtape. I want them to see me on on other people's shit. I okay. Like ride the wave. Um, and I'm definitely trying to do features in Dallas right now. Right now, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win Texas right now. Are you charging for those features? Am I charging for the features? Like no. when they come. Currently, just... right now, no, I'm not. Do they have to have something to bring to the table, or they can't just have like one view and you like I'm jumping on? The uh, the best thing I feel for me is I feel the energy I ask for the feature. There that's what I, that's what I do. People waste your time. I, you know, and I don't want to. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but it's always business first for me. So if you got yeah. the energy, I'm trying to jump on that wave. For sure. For When's sure. your favorite time to create? Man, every day I write in my head. You know what I'm on saying? Your head. You don't write I, it down at all. I write in my head. I drop 18 wheels and, and, and write as much as I can right now. It's, it's an amazing thing. So it stays in your head. So when you go to the you go to the booth, it just comes back out there. No, when I stop that thing, I try to put it down like okay, in my phone or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah. Okay. What you got to say to your fans? Man, come on with it, man. The, 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 bring me that love. We we let's share this energy with everybody. Let's mm -hmm. turn it up, man. Be uh, don't, support is one of the biggest things you can have as an artist. For sure. And come on with it. I need that support all the time. Okay, so you got a fan that's like, I want to do this so bad, but everything just keeps knocking me back down. What are you gonna tell them other than you know, 
You gotta give them something. I'm gonna elevate. I, I love to elevate. I so you tell them just keep elevating. What steps you, you got for you, them? You have to. First of all, you gotta start with yourself. You gotta work on yourself before you work on anything else. Mm-hmm. Period. You cannot help nobody else if you don't help yourself. Mm-hmm. I can't. I walk around this motherfucker without a dollar in my pocket, but guess what? I'm still the baddest motherfucker in this bitch walking. You know what I'm saying? I want to make everybody feel like that because that, that's the only way to. You gotta keep yourself one. Mm-hmm. You become two. Do you meditate? Mm-mm. Just curious. Okay, so can you recall a pivotal moment that changed the course of your life? Like it was a big change in your life, a moment. Um. Oh shit, time to get personal. Let me take y'all back to my hood shit. Uh, Let's go. What hood? I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I'm from the hood. I'm from, I'm from the hood. Uh, we don't need to go here. <laughs> um, oh, I've always been with my oldest brother. Uh, and one day we left from one place to go to the gas station to get gas. Mm-hmm. And we were mistake for somebody else. And 50 people pulled up on us at one time. Cops or people? Niggas. And it was a bad day for you know, for me and my brother and that changed my life because I was young, dumb and doing dumb ass shit. How old were you? Say about seventeen. You know what I'm saying? But you learn from your mistakes, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I step the right way now. Sure. I move the right way. For sure. Yeah. Do you um do you believe in like your spiritual or you have like a religion? I feel like everybody gotta have that communication with God. Mm-hmm. Whether I mean, I ain't gonna say everybody believe in what they want to believe in, but uh, I just have that personal relationship all the time. I always be inside my own mind. Mm-hmm. So when you ask me, do I meditate? I don't know if it's meditating, but I communicate thoroughly. Yeah, it, the source gotta come out somewhere. Yeah, so, it's yeah that's what I'm at. Yeah, I think that's that. You feel that? How do you predict meditate? Yeah, I meditate, yoga, do all of that mm-hmm. oh. every morning. Um, how do you um, protect your peace? Like being in this industry, it's hard to protect your peace, but you still gotta stay in it. I mean, you can't quit. You gotta know that punch is gonna come from everywhere. For sure. Punch is definitely gonna come from everywhere. So how do you protect it though? You, you, how do you not turn up? Shit, you gotta be the one to take a punch. How many do you take before you give up? Before you give in? When the one of you, you gotta make that breakthrough. If you if you take that punch and fall, you ain't gonna get back up. You're damn right. I'm gonna take that punch. I'm gonna punch the fuck back. The fuck you. Mean? Not physically, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. No, we, yeah, not physically. No, no, they hit you though. You're not gonna do it. I don't think that was a physical physical point. I mean, if that was a physical point, that we, ain't, we might not be doing no punching. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna play that bitch out though. I want to think about me. I'm gonna play that bitch out. He's going back to the good days. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of books do you read? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, really, what what I do is instead of reading books, I, I watch a lot of videos. I like to hear it. I like to hear. It. I like to hear. Uh, uh, I don't know. Elevation is one of my big words, so I use it a lot. But guess what? If you want to know how to run a business, you want to know how to make peace with yourself and meditation and all. Maybe I, I don't meditate, but I like to listen to the things that people need to do to be free inside themselves. So mm-hmm. you got what I'm saying? That's what I do. I don't really know. What separates you from like other artists? There's a million. Um, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my manager and the reason why I want to start this and I tell everybody else. I feel like right now already I am a marketable artist. You got some artists that just rap. You got some artists that say the artists or whatever the case may be, but I'm already doing professional videos. I show up my great appearance. I can rap. I, uh, basically, I'm leading by example as an artist already. So I feel like, man, I, I, I'm i very humble, but I feel like I'm top tier as fuck. Do you have like goals that you want to achieve like every month that you set out on paper? That you're like, I gotta do this? Because it's a part of the moment. You know, back when I was 11, I started rapping. Maybe when I was 21, 22, I went on tour with Def Jam. So I immediately seen what the music industry was like. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now, with things changing, everything being social media, mm-hmm. everything's being social media. So uh, I feel like growth and development there is, is a big thing. Mm-hmm. So right now, I'm trying to just raise that bar. Being an artist, what's like the first thing that's misunderstood that everybody feels like, you're an artist, you should have this? <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You didn't. Is that real? Right? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. The, the thing no, is, is that we work so hard for what we have, mm-hmm. but people feel like you gotta have chains and watches and rings. We you know we were blessed to earn what we got. Why do you feel like they have to have it on to perform? Because like? they, because they, they they think sometimes if you're an artist, they think appearance is everything. Mm-hmm. 
being an artist is everything. Your craft is everything. Which your appearance doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You can be wearing one shoe, but if you got that motherfucker do what you're supposed to do, people gonna clap their hands. He gonna wear one shoe with you. Yeah, so I feel like that's a lie. Some, somebody actually told me that my shit was too much. They did? Oh, yeah. What did you say? I, I wasn't mad about it. Like I say, because everybody got their opinion. And maybe it's true. I'm a little motherfucker with a big ass chain. A big ass expensive chain, too. But you know what? I did everything I was supposed to do first. I had studio time booked up. I had uh, uh, songs written. I had badass clothes. I had badass cars. I'm, whatever I say in my songs, I'm fucking living it. So when I say big pure, I ain't talking about big pure. I'm talking about big fucking pure. This is what the fuck we doing. Uh -huh. And that was amazing the way that motherfucker on stage. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, I like yeah, it. I like it. Like it. Yeah. So how do you unwind? Like, how do you unwind, restart? Uh, I don't think I got an answer for that. I never unwind. I'm always tense as a motherfucker. Because there's always something to do. That's not good. You said it's not good. Why? Because you, you meditate in yoga? Yeah. Well, no, just in general. Like, you got to unwind sometimes because you're going to overstress. And if you overstress, then you're going to be like, I don't want to do this no more. You, you have to handle stress. Stress is your battle, your battle mentally. Everything starts being. So, how do you handle that? You, you have to be a. It's like. I don't believe what I'm say. If there's a group of bullshit, you got to separate <laughs> that bullshit and handle it uh -huh. one at a fucking time. Yeah. I never fucking stress. The only thing that can really make me stress and lose my mind is if something go wrong with my kids. So you never rest? If the lights get cut off with well, light fucking candles. Oh yeah, you got a good mind. You, you, well, you. Lights and candles. Stress kills. Lights and candles. Stress kills. Nigga don't want to die. Yeah, you right, you right, you right. Yeah. But you just so calm. Lights and candles. You have to be. <laughs> well, you know, but that, that's a learning experience. Because yeah. back in the days, I was never calm. Right. You look wrong, you're getting okay. punched. You step on the forces, you're getting punched. Anything you did wrong, you're getting punched. But God, I mean, God, you, 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 you'll learn from that. Uh -huh. You can have everything and lose it. And I've been through that. We ain't going Just back. because of your attitude, how you come? Yeah, and it ain't even got to be the, the way you're carrying your attitude. It's the things that you think negatively about and shit like that. That shit catch back up to you. And How's your mental health? That's my mental health. I ain't gonna say I'm no good boy, but uh, I'm very strict on myself, so I think I'm pretty good. Yeah, you can tell. By the way, you have a balance. Out. Yeah, I think I'm very strict on myself. Mm -hmm. Do you take any medication? Mm -hmm. I was just curious. You scared me with that shit. Like, what you? <laughs> Hell yeah, I take medication. This one right here. Okay, so um, what's your life motto? My life motto. What you stand on? I don't risk car showering. Uh, that's what I'm mad. You, uh, in, the, in the car, you trying to pull up on me. I, I do it. You, the term of a, a street nigga. You know, you know what a street nigga is, right? Yeah. You know how street niggas get their money, right? Mm -hmm. I'm in the streets too. I'm a street nigga, but I get my shit in the streets with cars. If you can make your 17.5 in a week doing what you do, I can make 10 bands in under 10 seconds doing what I do. So I stand on this race car shower shit. I, I race for real, like street race, drag race. In, in cars? Cars. I'm talking about 200 miles per hour. I'm talking about nine. Have you ever, ever lost, almost lost your life? Driving? Yeah. Never. You're not scared? Hell no. You wear a helmet? I said again. You wear a helmet? Hell no. What? <laughs> I'm, when I'm at the track, I wear a helmet. Oh, like you're, you're pushing. I like that money. That's my life. Wait, that's, you get paid that's for race? Saying, that's... Yeah, is that illegal to sell on camera or not? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is my life. Fuck yeah, that's what I do. I, I love the race. Racing is my shit. I don't, I've oh never, God. you listen to any of my songs, I don't rock about selling no drugs. I ain't with no gang. I don't do none of that shit. I fucking street race. And how long you been doing this for? I've been driving since I was two. That's real shit. Sitting oh. in my daddy's lap. Two? Willing, willing to 5.0 Mustang. So you didn't go to no driving school? Nope. And I, I mean, I drive big horsepower cars too. I love this shit. This is my life. You don't sell these cars either? Hell no. Nah. Once it's paid for, we ain't selling nothing. I don't make no payments. That's scary. So where do you go? Like to a big ass track? I gotta check this out. I'm, I, I like to race on the street because the street is uh, faster and easy money, but I will go to the track. Uh, but once I get myself in a better situation, I'll probably be at the track more. It's, it's, it's safer. Yeah, for sure. Especially without <laughs> I Hey, I... That's the lifestyle I live. I have, you asked me, do I live by my name? You live by that name. I yeah. live by that motherfucker. Nice. Okay, so what's a question you've always wanted to be asked? What's a question I always wanted to be asked? Mm -hmm. 
uh, if there was one thing I can change, uh, or out of a few things that I could change, what would I change? Okay. Racism. Ooh, that's good. I, I stand, like that one. I stand on that. But how would you change it? You just want to go back from way back in the Harriet could not save the slaves, you know, come back for him. She, it would be a whole different story. I heard from a very, very, very old man one time in an interview, and they say, what's the best way to stop racism? And I agree with his answer. He said, stop talking about it. That's why I'm like, that we can't live in a world hating each other when you can't agree that that person, regardless of their color, is helping you out. That's, that's why I'm mad with it. I'm, really, I'm, I'm against that shit 100%. And if it was a second thing, I'd change the way that the fucking government do child support. Oh, if you don't say that one more time, um, please can you just repeat that one more <laughs> time? Because you know what? It's ridiculous out here. It is. It These is, women is really trapping men just to live off the child support because the, they don't have to go to work. It's the formula that they use to make this shit happen. When you call a motherfucker phone on video and, and you ask them questions about how, uh, how much money they make and all of this, just in two seconds and bam, automatically this is what you're paying instead of saying, have you been paying already? Yeah, they don't well, care. How much have you been paying? Mm -hmm. Well, does she have a job? Right, they don't care. Do she got her own shit? Does she pay bills? Yeah. But you'll make that man suffer like a motherfucker paying sure. three quarters of his check every month. You know, and so he with, just got to deal with it too. Exactly, and I think the the formality that's fucked up. Oh, so. sure. And they push the issue when you go in there, like they're like, "Is this all you want? Like you don't want no more?" Like I'm like, "Damn, you just oh, want to send the mail." Oh no, oh no, Red Scott Shadow, you buying all these cars cash, huh? Well, let's go ahead and put this child support on your credit. Ooh. So now child support will go on your credit. Oh, this is sad. It's it's real though because motherfuckers don't get in front of the camera and talk about shit like this. Yes, I'm talking about. But that's why I'm talking about good mind control. Because if you paying over three hundred dollars a week for a child, they is too. Especially a nigga that only works all the time, then immediately you're ready to do some negative shit. Mm -hmm. But we gotta remember that we live and we breathe it. You know what I'm saying? So stay the fuck out of the way, but try to do something about it. So now I got forms and shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to communicate about the situation so we can do something about it. Okay, I like that. See what I'm saying? You're trying to live and shit to make sure you got a helmet and shit when you're racing these cars and shit. <laughs> when you're on the street, there ain't no helmet in the car. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so out of all the celebrities in this world, like who would you want to work with? Oh shit, I name a couple of one. You make them. Oh shit. Uh T Pain for sure. Yes, I like him. I would love to. Y'all kinda got the same hairstyle on my trip. T. Huh? I don't know. I think he got the long yeah. And they got the dreads back, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably so. I would love to work with T Pain. Uh my favorite artist of 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 all time. God rest his soul, Michael Jackson. Give me a track. Just give me one track with Mike. Don't twist your face up. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna do Mike like that again. I listen to it, but it's just not, it's not You gotta know how to put it today. That's the thing about being an artist, putting a song together. Facts. Um, Twister for sure. Yes. I got the speed to, to fuck with it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if y'all know about Tech Nine. I love Tech Nine. Mm -hmm. um, Avery Wilson. You know Avery? Mm -hmm. That's a bad That'll motherfucker. Avery That's Wilson is uh, a bad motherfucker. Um, Shit, I can go all day, man. It's just be too much. I, I like to fuck with the OGs. Gucci, I get on the track with Gucci one time. Yeah, Gucci. Yeah, the, 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 the new, the Do you new like R&B? Yeah, I named by, yeah. Avery Wilson, for but, sure. Like, like, any women? Huh? Any women? Oh, yeah. Give me a track with the old school old. Give me HWV one time. What about Monica? The boy is... She's straight. Yeah, she's straight. She's straight. You didn't have to do that song like that. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, I feel like I, I can see myself on any track because I'm a, I like to adjust to beats. Uh -huh. um, so when it comes to females, I just I can't really break it down as much as possible. I He's too straight for that shit. <laughs> I have to work the song out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so any upcoming um, opportunities you have or any projects you're coming out that you want everybody to know about? Yeah, we just uh, did Coast to Coast, so we're going to Miami for the fifty thousand dollars. <gasps> Congratulations! Uh, yeah, you gonna get it? Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. For, of course, uh, we got Rolling Loud. Um, we going to Chicago for Spitting Bars. Uh, right now, we just building and moving. 
like I said, the Jack of a Beats mixtape finna get ready to drop. Um, I am doing local uh, features with local artists right now, so I, I'm trying to just get heard on you know every platform with everybody right now at the moment, and and we're working on a new album also all at the same time. So we we just pushing. And your artist is it, is it, is it along with? Yeah, Cody Huntsman is uh, get ready to drop an album. Also, he's uh, I'm also also dropping a Pure Be the Team uh, mixtape. So to be involved with me and him from different songs for me and him, different collaborations for me and him. So yeah, okay. we I'm, I'm working I'm working as much as possible for sure. Okay, so where are you going first, Miami? Is that where you're going first? I'm going to Chicago in uh, the end of August. Are you driving there? No, they're flying me. You probably could get there fast by driving, you know. But that's yeah. speed, racing to the speed. Yeah, yeah. It, Put it, it to the test. Yeah. Now you don't you know, want to drive. Now you're like, looking yeah, at Yeah, oh, I, I would love to drive. That's my You can. Yeah. I, I, I done drove can. around the whole United States already, so it would be nothing to drive up there for sure. Yeah. All right, last question before we get up out of here. How is your king hat sitting? Is it tilted? Is it straight? You know, what you working on when it comes to self? Say that last one. Your king hat? Mm -hmm. Your king, you're a king, right? Right. You got it straight? Is it tilted? Is it leaning? What you working on to improve self? I would like to just say it's straight. I think that's the answer I'm going to pick okay, for that sure. one. I don't know how to break that one down, but... <laughs> <laughs> to see if you, you own it or are you falling off? Like, if you're like, I'm really going through it right now. It's tilted. you like, I'm really supposed to be. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm oh, just, just sitting straight. No, that motherfucker straight. I walk with no fear. I'm, I'm that motherfucker. Fuck you, man. I don't, I don't even feel the sweat rolling out of my back. This shit for real. There he go. Like, I ain't going to flex. That shit for real. I believe in myself. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck. All right. Well, tell everybody where they can find you before we get up out of here. Uh, on all social media platforms, it's only one underscore race car shouting on everything. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, I got, uh, and even in my, <clears throat> you can look up my managers and reach out to, for booking and everything, all of that nature, man. Race car shouting. Nobody else got that name. That shit for sure. All right. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you slipped in the book. All right, you guys. Thank you for tuning in with Queen B, and it's a rap TV, and it's a rap. See you next time. Yeah, yeah.